so this happened. You're in the nether, and you spawned in one of those cave systems, and when you finally found a way out into the normal nether, eh, there's just a giant lava ocean below, and you can't dig around because it's just ceiling. And then you can't get down anyway. And so, you don't know what to do. Hello everybody, this is Ben, and I... In my, one of my worlds, actually a year or two ago, I discovered a great way to uh, make a staircase, starting from up here, that'll get you down onto the level of the lava ocean, so you can pillar sideways around to one of the adjacent islands. And for that, I have brought the items in this chest. That's the way you presumably came. So... We start with sand, and you can probably guess what you do with the sand. There just happened to generate glowstone here, so that we can just place the sand. You just place the sand. You can also use gravel for this, which you can find in the nether. And you can also replace the cobblestone with netherrack if you got trapped in the nether and you don't have any overworld stuff left. But I recommend using cobble, because ghasts can't destroy it and sand because it won't break apart into flint whenever you shovel it. Uh, speaking of that, I probably should have brought a shovel with me. Uh, I'm going to go grab that and also finish uh, adding these sand things. How am I coming down that? No, there's. this is why you need to bring a lot of sand. And here we go. Uh, got a stone shovel. And looks like I placed one block too many. And let's get rid of some of this glowstone. Glowstone, out of the way, please. Very nice. Okay. And so, you've got your very nice pillar of sand. And this is actually in the way. Be gone. And, oops, I should have brought the cobble. Cobble is right back here. Excuse me, netherrack. Let's make a nicer stair. Should not have placed the chest all the way back here. Let's grab just a little bit of cobblestone. And then you start spiraling downwards. Doing this. And, oops, if you want to be all safe, you can do this. Or you could just, you know, do bip, ba dip, all the way down. But, I'm going to make one of the fancier editions of such a thing. And so you just continue this pattern to all the way down. And, see, it's very easy to climb back up. And, if you're good, you can just hold the mouse in the proper position, and you won't even have to think about which way you need to go. And I actually chose a not that interesting site to... Uh, demonstrate this on, but I couldn't find the spot I really wanted. One that was really like it was in the world that I created this tactic in. So I guess I'll just keep doing this staircase downwards, and I'll get back to you when we're ready for the next stage. And here we are, down at the level of the lava ocean. And I should have brought torches with me, but this gives me an excellent chance to show you how easy it is to spiral up like this. You see? See? And there was a ghast around here and has been destroying some of the central pillar, uh, which you you might notice that I have, I think, two more sand, maybe four more sand than I had when I started doing this stage, but that's because the gas blew a little bit out. So I'm just going to climb to the top, and then I'll show you the next stage. Oh, the gas actually destroyed a lot more than I thought. But no matter. We can repair such things as these. And now that we're back up here, there are two ways of performing this stage. You could either go all the way back down and take all the sand out with the torch trick, or you could start at the top and do this all the way down. This is how I did it the first time because I did not bring torches with me to the nether, because you really don't need to bring torches with you to the nether. So you just dig all the sand up until you get to the appropriate 
level. And then you replace all that sand with cobblestone for a more firm central core, I suppose. I should probably eat. And we're up here. I have finished the central cobblestone core thing. And then the next step, I need more cobblestone for this. I believe this is stage four. And let's just take a, excuse me, a little bit more cobble. And then you use this to insulate the thing. So basically you start by doing this and then you come down here and then you are okay there are now two gas. This is quickly becoming an issue. I think it's easier to do it like that than like uh, this but I don't know. Your choice. It's your okay I'm being caught at. That was some serious knockback, but no matter, you just do like so, and if you want to make it look nice, you could break that block out from under it. If you really want to, that was not at all where I wanted to place that. So, oh, and it's on fire. I will just do this, and I'll bring you back when it's time for stage five. And ran out of cobble, I ran and got a little bit more. We should probably also make this just a little bit safer, this end point. Oops. No, you can't put a block there because it'll obstruct the next one. You can put one here though. You see? And I need to finish up uh, this stage. Ah, huh. stage complete. See, you can just go like whoosh, up and up and up and up, but you still have to jump a lot. And that is where stage number four comes in. I don't know which number it is, but I'll go grab the stone stairs, which were up there. All right, I got the stairs out of the chest, and now, oops, excuse me, I will demonstrate how to make this a little more handicap accessible. Yes, yes. Take these stairs and you kafloosh. Basically, you just break out that block which was made in stage two and you replace it with the stone stair. You don't have to do that but I don't know it's kind of nice if you're especially if you're going to use these stairs a lot because then you can conserve food. I keep switching to the wrong slot. Come on, it's number six. There we are. So Yep, and as with all the other stages, I will show you when I'm at the bottom. Alright, the stage complete. I've added all the stairs. Now you can just, without, uh, without jumping, you can just keep moving your mouse to the right or left, depending on the way that you set up the staircase. And this is probably a little bit dizzying. Sorry. So you can easily do this, and to get down, you just floosh the other way. You see? You see. Yep, and then in the next stage, we can make it just a little bit nicer. Okay, and I have gathered a bunch of cobblestone torches and a sign. With the torches, it's kind of nice to place uh, them like every uh, one of these, whatever these are that's facing in the direction of something interesting. For example, where's that fortress? It's that away. So I might place it there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And it, provi and it provides a little bit of lighting. I think it prevents this does from spawning, just so they don't get in your way on the bridge. And it's, you know, kind of nice. Oops, that is not where you put one of those. It's just kind of breaking up the monotony of forever spiraling up or down these stairs. Okay, got torches on the sides facing the fortress. And if you have enough torches, it really didn't take very many torches at all. You could put them on every single one of these if you really like symmetry. I kind of like symmetry. And then the final touch, 
I didn't actually have enough torches to uh, finish putting them on all the things. But, you know, gas would probably be able to destroy them anyway, but if you move fast enough up and down, the gas won't be able to lock onto you. And you'll move out of their field of view, and they'll just despawn their fireball. So the last touch is to title this. I like to put it here. And in my first world, where I made this, I called it the stair... That's not how you spell stairs. The stairs of depression. Because the elevation is depressed as you move down. And it is actually possible to, like, do... Th oh, it's kind of difficult with the stair, but it is possible to pop onto that block and possibly off the off the staircase, but it's very easy just to back yourself up and land back on. So yeah, you can do that. Yeah, very nice. But if you're not trying to, it, I don't think it really happens. See, if I even if I do go off, go off, I can just easily back right back up onto it. No problem. My health regenerated really fast. That was weird. So, yes, this is the Stairs of Depression. And thank you for watching. This is Fleeks, Ben, and I will see you next time. Postscript. Wait a second. I, uh forgot that if you're not big into the whole lighting thing, or at least up here, you could kind of do an alternate design that's a little more secure, but since the gas really aren't able to hurt you anyway, because you'll be, you know, moving pretty quick, uh, you can do... Uh, come on, I'm trying to find the top. Here we go. You can just seal it totally in, or... Not, I don't know about totally, but mostly in by doing this. It costs quite a bit more cobblestone, and I'm not sure if it's really worth it, because as I said, the gas can't target you as you're moving. And actually, I'm not sealing this in all the way, but you know, you get the picture. You know what to do. You know what to do. So, alright, actual end of the episode now.